What's up, y'all? We are back for the next installment of my um, makeup collection videos. This one is going to be all miscellaneous eye products. So single eyeshadows, eyeliners, um, mascaras, brows, stick shadows, things like that. Everything that has to do with the eyes that is not an eyeshadow palette. So I will try and kind of categorize this into chapters. So if you're only interested in a, a certain thing, you can skip forward to that. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Alright, so these are all of my single eyeshadows. I have some in pots down here, and I have some that are in some palettes. This doesn't include my eyeshadow sticks. I'll do those in just a minute, but let's go ahead and start down here with some of these singles. I'm going to start with Fido Surgent right here. I have three different shades. I have Chilled Cherry, Oxidized Olive, and Magnetic Maple. So let's start with Chilled Cherry. These are really pretty. I do enjoy this for Formula. They are not the creamiest in the world, but they do have a really pretty color payoff and they last on the lids. I don't have any issues. They're very blendable. I like just the soft reflect to them. These are beautiful. Um, I want more from this. I just, I haven't, but let's move on to oxidized olive. This one's really pretty too. These shades are so, so pretty. Well, I got a little bit of like a chunkier swatch, but that's oxidized olive. It has that green reflect to it. And then the last one that I have from Fido Surgeons is Magnetic Maple. And I think this one's actually my favorite out of the three. But this one is beautiful as well. Let me get a better swatch. Get my finger in there a little bit better. But just really pretty I love it it's not quite as deep not quite as punchy in your face but it is really pretty these dry down really nicely and I like that they're great for my oily lids I don't have any issues I don't have any problems with anything laying over top of them either they're just really good quick one and done shadows that's what most of these are sitting here and I do have days where I just want a quick one and done look i don't want a lot of fuss i'm in a hurry out the door things like that okay i have two from charlotte tilbury i actually got these in an influencer and i don't mind this formula it's not my favorite it is a little bit on like the fluffier side they can be a little bit harder to mess with they're very creamy they don't dry down um, I need to definitely prime my eyes before I put these on otherwise they will fade on me this one is pillow talk and then the other one that I have is called champagne and the, like I said these are beautiful but just not my favorite I wouldn't go out and purchase these I'm glad that I didn't I think that they're a little overpriced for what they are but I have them, I do like them, I reach for them, just not super often, but that's those two shades in the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. Okay, I have four from Victoria Beckham Beauty, and these are beautiful. These are like my favorites. I love these so much. So let's start with T-Rose. These are definitely sparkly. They are um, very reflective on the lids. They're a little bit more on like the hard side whenever you put your finger in there, but look at how stunning that is. Just so pretty, so reflective. They don't have a flip to them or anything like that, but they just look gorgeous on the eyes. And then the next one that I have is Honey. This one's really pretty too. This is like a gold. And if you get these, keep the little discs because it keeps them from drying out. I have heard people have had issues and the common factor seems to be that they all got rid of that little disc. But this is the shade Honey. So pretty. Ugh. I just love them. Like I said, lightweight, beautiful. These go really well over the next glitter primer. And then we have Mink. I think Mink is my favorite. Whoops. I think this one's my absolute favorite. This just has 
oh it's so pretty it has this gorgeous like purple to green to blue flip in it it's just so pretty on the eyes you blend it out put it on and when the light hits it it is stunning like I see on the camera it's more green but if you look where I kind of blended it out a little bit it has just a soft purple tone to it so pretty so unique love it love it and then the last one that I have is velvet this one's gorgeous as well I really like all three of these I could 100% have all of them and be happy but these are not the cheapest thing either but look at how pretty that is it's like a green toned gold it's so so pretty it has just a slight green undertone to it if the light hits it a certain way but these are beautiful I recommend them if you're really into single shadows one and dones these are well worth it but if you're not going to use them then you don't need to have these in your collection because like i said they're not the cheapest but they are beautiful okay up next i have these two from surat these are the new eyeshadow souffles that they came out with um sometime mid to end last year i can't remember when i got these end of last year and these are cool i was really curious about them i wanted to know because the texture is really interesting these look like like a gel in here so this is what they look like and this is the shade nuage d'argent i don't know how to pronounce that i really don't but they're interesting because they're like they almost feel like Play-Doh or, you remember, what was it, Gak? I think was what it was called. But anyways, they're very interesting, but they are very pretty in the eye, um, not in the eye, on the eye, and I do enjoy these. They're very soft, very creamy. They don't have like a huge punch to them, but just for a one and done eyeshadow, like putting maybe a little bit of your bronzer in the crease and then tapping this all over the eye, they are very pretty. They look beautiful when the light catches them. And then the other shade that I have, let me get this lid back on. The other shade that I have is Seal, I think it's Seal Doré or Seal Door. I don't know how to pronounce these, but this one is beautiful too. This one is another really pretty one and done shade. Now, do I think that you need these? No, but they are really cool to touch. They are beautiful, but I mean, you can definitely get these from other shadows, other cream shadows, stick shadows, single shadows, things like that. But those are the two shades that I have. They are beautiful. I love them. Like I said, it doesn't make me want to go buy more of them. Not like I do with the Victoria Beckham or the Vito, the Fido Sergeants, but they are really fun and they're pretty. Okay, let's do these two from Melt. Now, these are more like eye glitters, but I keep them with my singles because they are singles. These came out with the Bailey Syrian X Melt collection, and we have Boomerang and Wisteria. These are pretty. They're not my favorite because they are glitters, and I have tried them, but when you go to take them off, they just make a huge mess. Although they're beautiful on the lid, they're just a mess but this is boomerang so you can see it's just a clear base with like a green gold glitter and then this one is wisteria which is my favorite of the two because it's smoother it's softer it's not as chunky and it just has like the most gorgeous glitter particles in them these are fun um I wouldn't have ordered them if I was ordering everything individually, but since I ordered like the collection, they came with it and I figured, well, let's try them out, see what they're about. They are a good formula as far as glitters go, but like I said, I prefer Wisteria over Boomerang. This just isn't my favorite formula. It's just, it's too chunky for me and hard to get off the lid. Okay, this one from Half Magic, this is the glitter puck and this is, 
Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is one of my favorites and I absolutely love it. It looks like I haven't used it, but I have. This is gorgeous. This is so versatile. First of all, it feels like it's kind of wet when you put your finger in there, but it is just a gorgeous like shimmer shade that you can put on the cheeks, you can put on the eyes, you can kind of tap it over everything to kind of give like if you just very lightly tap, it just gives a really pretty like soft shimmer. This is a really cool product. It's really pretty. It's huge. You get so much in here, but look at how pretty shimmery reflective that is. I just, ugh. when I, first, woo, when I first got this, I wore this with like every single eye look. I didn't care what I had on my lid. I dipped into this and kind of did like this right here. I just lightly tapped over it and it was like three weeks straight. I had glitter all over my face, all over everything in the bathroom. It was, it was wild, but this is gorgeous. It's a great deal. It's a beautiful product. If you want just something that just adds that sparkle and can be used all over the face, it can be used on the chest, the collarbones, the shoulders, everywhere. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Okay, so I have one little single shadow from Bobbi Brown. I got this for free with um, a Black Friday bundle that I purchased. This is in the shade Moonstone. And honestly, I don't remember how I feel about this. I did use it, but I can't remember. I don't think it was my favorite. Like it's, a, it's very shimmery, very pretty, but it's also very much so on like the sheer toppery side. So again, it's kind of more along the lines with this down here, but not if you're wanting to build it up like, um, like I did with the first swatch of the glitter puck. So if you just want to add like a light shine, it's really pretty, but it's not, it's not very opaque. It's more of a topper. So it is pretty. It's not my favorite. Again, it doesn't make me want to go buy more of these, but I have it. I will use it. And um, I mean, it is a very pretty product and the packaging is gorgeous. I'm running out of room on my arm, but let's swatch this one from Shantakai. I picked this up because I was curious. I wanted to know. I just, I like to test out different formulas, especially in eyeshadows, single eyeshadows, things like that. But this one is the Zebra, which is called Rose Gold. And this is really pretty. This is a beautiful formula and I do enjoy it. It's very sparkly, very pretty on the lid but I do think that you can get the same kind of vibe with something that's less expensive, like the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows that we're gonna go over in just a minute. So I really don't think that this is worth the hype, although it is beautiful. The pan embossing is gorgeous. The packaging is really pretty, but there's a reason I only have one in my collection, but you know, I got it out of my system. I tried it, I know what it's all about. It's pretty, I'll use it, but you know, I don't think that you need to go out and spend whatever it was that I spent on this. I don't remember. I've kind of blocked it out because I really don't want to know. Look at this is what I'm talking about. The glitter is just spreading all over my arm. I'm never going to get rid of this. It'll be here forever. I'm going to look like a Christmas ornament for the rest of my life. All right, I think that's as good as we're gonna get. So ignore the glitter particles that you see floating around on my arm. It's been like five minutes and this is the best that I can do. But let's go ahead and swatch these little ones that I have right here. So this is a newer one. This one is from Cryptine Cosmetics. I did use this in the video where I um, was using their Burnt Forest palette. So you can check that out there if you wanna see what it looks like on the lid. But this is so pretty. I was really impressed with this brand. I'm excited about it. This is a very pretty like lilac with a pink silver shift in it. It just looks so beautiful, so reflective. It's smooth, it holds up beautifully. I really love this little single eyeshadow. It's beautiful. Now I have the, the Too Faced, what is it, the Disco Crush eyeshadow in Heart Eyes. Y'all, this was an impulse buy. This is one of those, I was curious. I wanted to know, you know, what Too Faced did to make this eyeshadow $30. And while it's pretty, it's not worth it, y'all. It's absolutely not worth it. You can get stuff like this from Indie Eyeshadow Palettes. It is beautiful. It's metallic. It has a nice flip to it. It's not the most 
like impressive multi-chrome but for a mainstream brand it is pretty impressive i think it's neat that they did this but did we really have to charge people thirty dollars no absolutely not like that's taking advantage of people but it is pretty i just you know if anything pops up like this again tell yourself no you do not need it i need to talk myself out of it but you bet your bottom dollar i am going to use this until it's completely gone because yeah, I spent way too much money on that. Okay, these two from Odin's Eye. I do have more from Odin's Eye right here, but these are the two multi-chrome singles that they came out with, so I keep them separately, but um, or keep them separate. But the first one that we have is Isabella. Now, I will say these are not the easiest to open, but this is Isabella, and this is gorgeous. Like, look at that. That's an indie shadow. I think this was maybe $12 or something like that. I can't remember how much they are, but um, hello, $12, $30. Even this one was like maybe seven, I think, something like that. So yeah, save your money, go for the indie brands, but absolutely gorgeous, love it. And then we also have Maya or Maha, M-A-J-A, -A. but that is that one right there. It's so, so pretty. I love these two. I had such a hard time picking out which shades I wanted when these launched because I just couldn't get the whole collection. And that's what kills me about single eyeshadows is I'm so indecisive and I want everything and I know I can't get everything. So it just, yeah, it's stressful for me. I prefer it when they come in bundles. But these are the ones that I have from ColourPop. So I don't have a lot. I did have several of them dry out and I had to get rid of them. But this is what I have left. So let's start over here with Mighty Morphin. This one is really pretty. Oh my gosh, no, it's dry. It's so dry. Oh, that makes me sad. Yeah, that makes me really sad. I'm going to have to get rid of this one because it is like all dried up. And that one was such a pretty color. I don't even think I had it that long. Okay, well, that one's going to go bye-bye. Let's see this one. This is Moon Daisy. Actually, these two came in like a little duo together. But let's see if Moon Daisy... Okay, this one is still... Uh, it's not the creamiest, but I think it's still going to work. Okay, so that's Moon Daisy. Very, very pretty. I do like that one. I like the Super Shock eyeshadows. It's just they dry out really fast. I kept this closed really tight, and sometimes they dry out really fast. Sometimes they will last you forever. Like I had a highlighter that I had for years before I used it up. It never dried out. This one is Ice Dream. This one feels good. And I bought these at the same time. This one feels good. But look at how pretty that is. It just has like a very soft like blue lilac flip to it. Nothing crazy but beautiful on the lid. And then we have I Heart This. This is a taupe shadow. Okay, we still feel good. We still feel good. I like it, like it. That's what that shade looks like. So see what I mean? Like you don't need to spend the crazy money to get a beautiful single eyeshadow on your lid unless it's one that you're going to use every single day or you really just want that formula. You really don't need to. And then the last one that I have is Waka Waka because I love the Muppets and I just thought this color was so gorgeous. Please don't be dried out. Okay. So we only have one that we lost. One loss. But that is Waka Waka. It's like a beautiful orange-based copper. So, so pretty on the lid. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so these are the rest of my single eyeshadows that are, you know, bought individually or as a bundle. I think these were the only two that were bundles. The rest of these were individually purchased. So let's start over here with the Fantasy Cosmetica Lost Library Collection. This is beautiful. This was a limited edition collection. I don't think it's still available on their website, but these are all holochromes and these are beautiful. Now they are not like the best holochrome formula, but they're beautiful. Um, I don't know the shade names. They're on the back of each of the, um, 
the shadows but I do have a short up on my channel swatching each one of these and it has the shade name so if you're curious they're on there but that's the first one and then we have this one right here so so pretty I don't know if you can see like the holochrome shift you can definitely see the shift but I don't know about the holochrome shift this one is my favorite it is so pretty now this one I think you're gonna maybe be able to see some of that shift to it I don't know there we go that kind of shows off some of the shift a little bit okay let's keep going let's keep going there's this one gorgeous this one that's another one of my favorites as well it just has a gorgeous reflect to it and then the last one is this one gorgeous beautiful so yeah those are the shades that they came out with like I said they don't have like the biggest flip to them they are very soft very smooth they look beautiful on the lid but um, if you're looking for a good holochrome shade like a true holochrome I don't think that this is where it's going to be but they do look beautiful okay let's do this bundle right here this is a bundle from Cleona cosmetics this one came out around Halloween it was one of their Halloween bundles and I had been looking at these for a very long time and just could not make up my mind what shades to get so I'm glad that they came out with this but this is what these look like so let me kind of lay this down these are not hard for me to take out so I can tell you what each shade is so let's start with this one right here this one is called radiance this little guy right here and we're gonna give her a little swatch -roo. now these are their stained glass eyeshadows and this one and this one are more of like their ethereal um, what do they call these the iridescent shades that's that's the word that I was looking for so there's that one like again this one is called radiance And then this one, I believe, is Iron Gate. Yes, this one is called Iron Gate. I think this is the one that I used in my Shop My Stash video. But so, so beautiful. Like, these are gorgeous. These are where it's at. If you're looking for just a couple of shades to add to your collection, I, I recommend this formula 110%. And then we have this one is called shard this one's gorgeous too these are all beautiful they really are but look at that it's like a mermaid tail that's what I feel like when I look at that one like the tail of a mermaid beautiful 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 okay this one is called gargoyle That's what that one looks like. This one's my favorite. This one is called Ferric, and it's absolutely stunning. So pretty. Ugh, yep. This shade right here is the reason that I chose this bundle over the other bundle. It's just so foiled and metallic on the lid it's absolutely stunning this is another favorite shade of mine too this one is called carving so gorgeous i would love to get more of these i just i have a hard time deciding on which shades that i want but this is carving absolutely gorgeous you can kind of see like that green gold theme going on through this bundle And if you can hear Brody barking in the background, I apologize. This is Royal Pear. This one's gorgeous too. They're all gorgeous. I don't know why I keep saying this one's gorgeous too, but oh, look at that. It's like a lime green with like a gold P 
pinky flip to it. Just so pretty. So, so pretty. This one is Climbing Vine. Oof. Yep. That one's like a blue turquoise with a little bit of a purple flip to it. And then the last one in this bundle, ah, I almost dropped it, is Illumination. This is another one of those iridescent shades. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. These are gorgeous. I highly recommend this formula all day, every single day. Okay, so this little palette right here has my Ensley Rain singles. I only have four of them, but these are beautiful. I do plan to pick up more just as they come out with certain collections and there's ones that I want. That's kind of when I'll pick them up. But this one is called Snowdrop Fairy. This is from the... Um, the Cold Moon Collection. So pretty. These are gorgeous too. Like this is a beautiful formula. Like look at how just ethereal and beautiful that is. And then we have Nordic Breeze. I think all of these are from the Cold Moon Collection. This one is as well. This one's a little bit more on like the chunkier side, but it's still so smooth and beautiful and just Oh, that shine. It's like a beautiful, like fresh copper penny. Absolutely beautiful. This one is Frozen Halo. Get a good little, good little swipey swipe. Gorgeous, beautiful. Mm. So pretty. And then the last one is Icy Aura. And yes, these are all from the Cold Moon Collection. How beautiful. Stunning, gorgeous, love this formula. These are definitely a little bit more affordable compared to the Cleona, but they're both a beautiful formula. I highly recommend both of them, but if you want something super shifty, Cleona is where it's gonna be. And last we have my Odin's Eye Singles. These are just their shimmer singles. These don't have any flips to them. They're not multi-chromes, duo-chromes, holo-chromes, anything like that. These came out, I want to say January of last year, maybe even December. I can't remember. It was either the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023. But these are the shades that I picked up. Obviously, I have some growing room in here. But let's start with this one right here. This one is called Laura. These are soft. These are really pretty. They are. They are a beautiful formula. They're really nice. They're creamy. They look beautiful on and they are just very sparkly and metallic. And then we have Luke, which is this one right here. I do like this little palette too. I think it's cute. It's very easy to pop these in and out of, but this is that typical like blue purple shade. It's almost looks like it's a duochrome, but it's not. It's just a really pretty shimmery shade. Let's see if I can move these around. Okay. This one is called Olivia. This one's like a really pretty peachy tone with like a little bit of a gold to it. Very pretty. I do really enjoy this formula. I really like it and they're not expensive at all. These are very affordable when it comes to single shimmer shadows. This one is called Ella. That one's really pretty. That's a beautiful like inner corner highlight. So stunning, even this one too. And then we have Chloe. This one's my favorite for obvious reasons. It's purple, but that's Chloe. She's beautiful, love her. And then we have the last one, and this one is, is that right, Lucy? Yes, this one is Lucy. This one is very pretty. This one's gorgeous, just really pretty. Now, if you watched my um, 
what was it, the four looks, four eyeshadow palettes video where I used the Garfield palette and I put that one shade on my lid. This is probably the closest thing that I have to it, but that one had a little bit more of a flip to it. So if you want something that's similar to that shade without getting the entire palette, the shade Lucy from Odin's Eye is in my opinion, it, within my collection, the closest thing that I have as far as a single. Now, obviously, I don't have a huge collection of singles, but it's still going to be a pretty close match, and it's affordable. All right, these are my eyeshadow sticks. I have quite a few left, actually. I know I've used up a couple over the years and things like that. I love these for quick, easy days. I really enjoy these for travel, too. I know I've, I've said that before and I don't travel a lot. I do travel. We do go on vacation. Um, I have a brother that lives not too far from here in Dallas and we do go up there. So I do travel. I just don't, I'm not like a huge traveler. Like we do do some things like we've got an upcoming Disney trip in December that we're excited about. But um, I like these for things like that because I don't have to worry about them breaking. I don't have to worry about them crumbling um, and they're just quick and easy. And usually when I'm on vacation, I'm not all about sitting down and doing all the things. But let's jump into this. So first I have one of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. This is in the shade, I don't know, do these have shade names? It's the white one, Milk, that's the name of this. And this one's really nice actually. I like this for like a white eyeshadow base. I kind of forgot that I still had it, I'm gonna be honest, but it's good for a white eyeshadow base. These are good for eyeliners. These are good for inner corners. Um, this is a really nice one. I actually would really like to get more of these from NYX because this is a beautiful formula. And like I said, I forgot that I had this one, but that's the only one that I have from NYX. I have this one from Sigma. This is technically a eyeshadow primer, but it's a shimmery primer and I don't use a shimmery primer. So I have it in here with um, my stick shadows and this is in the shade Radiance. And that is what that looks like. This looks really pretty on the inner corner all over the lid. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I do like to use my stick eyeshadows with a brush. I'm not a big finger person unless I'm doing like a shimmer shade on the lid. I have three from Laura Mercier. This is my favorite formula of eyeshadow sticks. I just think they can't be beat. But I have this one. This is in the shade Wild Rose. This was a limited edition one, and I love this shade. Like, how pretty is that? So creamy, so beautiful. They're just a simple, effortless look, and I love that. And then I also have, this one is Caramel. This one is one of my favorites. I really like this one in the crease. This is kind of whatever I use whenever I just want like an easy, effortless look. Throw this in the crease, blend it out, and then pick out a single shade and throw it on top. Done, out the door, easy peasy. And these blend out so nicely they dry down but not super fast like you have time to work with them and then this one is all natural another one of my favorites this is a good like pinkier shade so if i want to go for like a little bit more of a cool tone in the crease versus a warm tone this is the one that i go for but like i said the laura mercier is hands down my favorite I have one from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Bark, and this is a really pretty formula. It is creamy. It's not quite as, like you have to work a little bit faster with these, just a little bit. It's very pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. These last really good in the waterline, so if you have watery eyes like I do, these work really well for that. Okay, I have three from Victoria Beckham Beauty, and I'm sad these are not my favorite. These are, to me, not very easy to work with. This one is in the shade Oyster. They are very creamy. They're very beautiful. This looks beautiful on the lid, on the inner corner. I don't have an issue with this one at all. I really do enjoy the shimmery one. Absolutely beautiful. And even this one right here, which is called Trench. 
I don't have a lot of issue with this one either. These dry down really fast, which is my big problem with them. But this one is really pretty too. I like this one as another one of those transition in the crease shades. This also looks beautiful just kind of on its own. But this is the one that I have issues with. And this one is the shade Pecan. And it just dries down so super fast. I have tried several times to use it and it's it doesn't feel nearly as creamy as the other two I don't know maybe I got a bad one but it dries down so fast and it's not easy to blend like yeah it's a little bit patchy difficult to work with I've tried putting it on blending it out I've tried going in straight with a brush things like that I have to work in very small sections and very fast it's honestly too much work it's more than I want to put in but this is the only one that I've had an issue with so I'm I'm really wondering if it's just the one color or if it's the one stick that I got or if they're all kind of hit or miss but if you're looking for a good stick formula I would say definitely go with the Laura Mercier because those seem to be pretty consistent across the board I have used several of them over the years and haven't had any issues okay Ooh, I've got a mess I have these three from Sugar Drizzle, and they came out with several of these, but these are like a duo and um, eyeshadow and highlighter. So let's start here with Silkworm. I'm gonna do these on the back of my hand. So this is the shadow end. These are not the creamiest thing in the world, but they do look very pretty. I like these as like an eyeliner, like on the lower lash line. I should probably keep these out with my um, eyeliners, but they are very pretty. They're a multi-chrome. They do have a shift to them. So that is that end of Silkworm. And then here's the other end. These are beautiful as inner corners because they're just very iridescent and they just like, it looks clear, like you can't see it. And then when the light hits it, it's like, bam absolutely beautiful these are fun I love these I want them to bring these back because this is just something fun from an indie brand this one is hummingbird this one's gorgeous so that's that one it's got like a purple teal flip to it and then the highlight end has more of like that teal flip to it but really pretty and then the last one that we have is rattlesnake this one's my favorite which I know you would think it would be that one but it's rattlesnake this one is just so pretty that green is absolutely gorgeous and it's got like sort of a gold flip to it but it's like a true grass green like when you think of spring grass it's gorgeous and then the highlight end right here so so pretty that's like definitely my favorite combo but you can see how they just complement each other so perfectly I think there was two or three more of these that were released at the same time but I just picked up the three and these are fun these are beautiful I would really like for her to either bring these back or continue doing them with maybe different colors but these are fun Okay, so I have this like hodgepodge of a mess. This is very chaotic. This is like brows, mascaras, liners. Um, we've got some eyeshadow primers in here. Um, it's a little bit of everything. So we're just going to kind of pull, grab, see what we come across and just kind of go from there. So let's start with this little pile right here. This was actually sitting in the bin with the eyeshadow sticks, but these are some eyeshadow primers. So this is the one from Tease. This is the suit of armor. I got this one in a boxy charm. I think it was February maybe, but this is a really nice one. It's a good primer. It doesn't have a lot of color to it. It's almost a clear base. It doesn't color correct or anything like that, but I do enjoy it. It, um, it does hold up. I don't have any issues with my eyeshadows creasing except for my adept shadows. Oh, those are so picky, but this is a nice one. It's not one that I would repurchase, but while I have it, I'll use it. I have two of these Sigma eyeshadow bases. I have Ignite 
and persuade that's the other color so persuade is more of a pinky one I've had this one a little bit longer I don't use it quite as much because it does have like a very don't roll away on me how rude but it does have like a very pinky cool tone base to it so I don't use it very often because of that reason but if I'm going for more of like a movie eyeshadow look this is a good one to have underneath it and then of course we have ignite which is like the one that everybody loves this one goes in and out of stock so so often but it's beautiful it is a really good one I do really enjoy it all of my eyeshadows work really well over this except for my adept eyeshadows that's like my pinnacle that's like what I compare everything to is if adept eyeshadows will hold up on top of it and not crease it's a winner if they don't then it's just kind of so-so but this one does hold up for everything except for that I have my sugar drizzle primer this one I like to use more as a glitter glue because it's very tacky and I've noticed whenever I try and use it as like an all-over base I have a really hard time blending out my shadows with it because it's just too tacky it's not it doesn't have the same consistency as these where they have like a powder finish to them it has like that tacky like that tacky NYX glitter primer base to it which we're going to go ahead and talk about that one really quick I don't know why I'm swatching these I really don't but the NYX glitter primer I mean both of these are clear they both work really well this one does work really well this one is just tackier it's cheaper it's just this is a holy grail this is one of those that there's nothing better than it I have never found anything better than in it I will you know fight that mountain forever for this one I I don't know what I would do if NYX ever discontinued this I don't think they would I think that would be not very wise of them and then we had the elf shadow lock I lid primer this is nice it is really nice it's very very cheap but I don't have any issues with it but you don't get a lot of product in here at all like this is one of those that if you are traveling and you forgot an eyeshadow primer pick this up from the store it's a couple bucks and it works really well but it's not going to last you forever so if you had this as like your staple eyeshadow primer you would probably go through these like crazy my natasha denona eyeshadow base this is another one that's an absolute favorite of mine that i will always have in my collection my adept shadows hold up on this beautifully this one is a holy grail of mine i absolutely love it this one is a little bit i'm trying to think it's got a little bit more of like a pinky undertone to it compared to my absolute favorite which is my mac paint pot i'll get to in a minute but it just has a little bit more of a pinkier um, undertone to it and it also doesn't dry down quite as flat and powdery as the MAC paint pot either the Danessa Myricks color fix this is the only one I have this one is in the shade I should know this at this point but I don't lift that's the name of it and this is what I typically use if I want to use a white eyeshadow primer these are beautiful for an eyeshadow primer I want to try more of these pick up more colors try them as liquid eyeshadows try them as blushes lip colors like these are supposed to be able to use for everything so this is the only one I have judging off of this formula. I really do like this. It's opaque. It gives me a nice base. My eyeshadows don't crease and I really love it. My MAC Paint Pot. I have two. One of these needs to go. Which one is it? This one. Like, oh. Yeah, this is the one that needs to go. I don't know why I didn't just throw it in the trash, but we're going to. But this is my absolute holy grail eyeshadow primer. You see me use this in almost every single look that I do. Sometimes I change it up depending on my mood, but this is the one that if I'm going to try a new formula and I've never used the formula before, this is the one that I will use it with because I know that this is going to work. I know it's going to hold my shadows in place. I know it's creamy. I like the undertone of it. It's just, it's an absolute favorite, but I want to put this one right there and see how it just kind of, it blends in with my skin tone better. It doesn't alter, um, 
the undertone of my eyeshadows too too much maybe just a little bit but not really but I love this one it's a favorite I don't know how many of these I have been through in my lifetime I've actually never finished one because I usually get to a point and they dry out and look like that and they're just not creamy anymore so but love it love it love it this is the one I would recommend all day every single day okay let's jump into this little bucket so this is like mascaras and brow products I think I think that's it but this is a sample of the Armani Eyes to Kill this is my favorite mascara of all time um I have I might have a full one in here somewhere maybe but I've been through several of these I absolutely love it I love what it does for my um for my lashes I wish it was waterproof I have tried the waterproof version and I don't like it I've tried the other one I can't remember what it's called but I don't like it either the original eyes to kill is the absolute best but I don't have one right now because I have other ones that I've been trying out testing that I really enjoy and eventually I will pick up another one but this one is so good um, I have this one from Il Maquillage I got this one for free with an order and this is called blank card it's a lift and curl lift curl and lengthen mascara I've never tried this I should actually probably put this in my new makeup drawer and eventually test it out so I think that's where it's gonna go but I've never tried it before but I do have it my Lancome Idol Lash Waterproof Mascara I have an unopened one <laughs> I have a little sample I have backups I have backups of this one because this is my favorite mascara like whenever I'm having really watery eyes and it's not quite as often as it seems but there are days where my eyes just water non-stop so this is the mascara that I like to go for or go to for that and yeah I have backups of it it's a favorite I've said before it's not the most lengthening lifting or volumizing mascara on the market but it's a fantastic one if you have watery eyes, sensitive eyes, things like that. Um, let's pull out some more mascaras. So I have the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick. This one's nice. I really do enjoy it. I got this one as a sample, obviously, at some point. I think maybe from Ulta. This is a nice mascara. It's not my favorite. There wasn't anything about it that makes me want to go purchase a full size, but it is really nice. I did enjoy it, but like I said, not a favorite. Let's keep digging a better, a Too Faced Better Than Sex. Like, why do I even have this? I know I got this for free with something, and I just threw it in here. I don't know why. I hate it. It's never been opened, but I'm gonna hang on to it just in case I ever need to compare anything to it at this point. You know, it's it's a good one to have just for that, but it'll probably never get used. Um... The YSL Lash Clash. This is another one that's a favorite. At some point I have had, actually, oh, this must be an old one because this is not, yeah, because look, I have another one over here. So I'm going to throw this one away, but um, this is another one of those. I have had a full size before. I absolutely love it. It's another favorite. I have a really hard time finding a drugstore mascara. I know people say that you can get them at the drugstore, you don't need to spend a lot of money, but I either have a really hard time finding one that doesn't irritate my eyes, or it holds a curl, or it's a really good waterproof one. So I'm a... I'm a high-end mascara girly. I can't help it. It is what it is, but this one's a favorite. I do really like this one. This one is definitely up there with the Armani Eyes to Kill. I really enjoy it. Um, whenever I run out of samples, if you know they ever quit sending them to me, I would definitely buy a full size of it. We have the Glam Light Betty Boop Boop Alicious Full Volume Mascara. This one's okay. Um, I've heard from several people that this is a tubing mascara, and I this would not come off in the little tubes on my eyes like I tried it I found it to be easier to get off with just eye makeup remover but it's not a bad mascara it's a it's an okay mascara it's not a favorite it doesn't make me want to buy it it does make my lashes look good but um, you have to work fast because once it dries down you are not getting another coat on your lashes and I am at least a two coat 
girly on my lashes but this one's okay not the best not horrible but just i wouldn't repurchase it um let's see do i have any more oh i have i have one of the lancome sills boosters primers in here this one's unopened i haven't used it yet i have used this before in the past and it's nice it works i kind of think that primers are a little gimmicky i just i don't know i've never been like a mascara primer person maybe i haven't found the right one but i do have this one it's nice i just i won't purchase a full size of it the MAC, what is this, the dry shampoo for your lashes. This is really cool. This is really neat. It does work. Um, I do have a short up on my channel trying this out over like, I can't, I think it may be 10 or 12 hour old mascara and it really does work. It's a beautiful product. It's not one that I get a lot of use out of because I don't tend to go anywhere. Like, I'm not one of those people who, oh, we're going out after work. I need to refresh my lashes. Like if I'm going out, I'm usually putting on makeup to go out or I'm putting it on now for filming, things like that. But it is a good one to have just in case because you never know when the occasion arises. But if you're curious about this, it does work. It is really cool. I have tried it on its own and it does not work as a mascara on its own. So it's not like you're just putting more mascara over mascara let's keep digging let's keep digging so this is the rare beauty mascara this is a really nice one this is one that I would definitely repurchase this is just a little sample of it and I do really like this one um, I will repurchase it at some point but like I said I have other mascaras sitting here that I'm either testing out or need to test out or I just have open like I have so many open but this is a really nice one. I do really enjoy the Rare Beauty Mascara. Um, let me bring this over. I have a few in here. So this is the Victoria Beckham. Oh, what's it called? The, hmm. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Oh, here we go. The Future Lash Mascara. That's what this is called. This is a tubing mascara, and I really love this mascara. I haven't used it in a little while because I've had so many others that I've been testing out, but this is one of my favorites. I really do enjoy this one. Um, I've tried a couple of the other tubing mascaras, and I have not tried the one from Thrive, but I know I've tried the one from Milani. I tried the one from somebody else. I can't remember who it was. Didn't like those, but I really do enjoy this one. I don't know if it's worth the price point of it. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase it, but it does look pretty on my lashes and I do like it. I like what it does. It holds up really nicely. And this one actually comes off in the little tubes. The Blend Bunny Omni Lash Mascara. This is beautiful. I really love this one. I've been using this one quite a bit. Um, I would absolutely repurchase this one whenever I run out of it. My only issue is that this is not waterproof and if my eyes are just the tiniest bit watery, this transfers like nobody's business. But other than that, it is beautiful. It's one of those that the longer it's open, the better it looks and better, better it performs. Because whenever I first opened this, it was nice and then I noticed like two days later, I was like, oh, is this really as good as I think it is? But then the longer it was open, the better it got. Love that one. The e.l.f. Lash and Roll. This is probably the best one that I have tried from the drugstore. I do really enjoy this one. I have used the, um, what is it, the Tarte, not Tarte, the, oh, man, oh, the Benefit Lash and Roll. No, the Benefit Roller Lash, that's what it's called. And I will say that this is probably, I don't know if it's an exact dupe for it, but it's pretty damn close. And I do like it, I do enjoy it. It is one that I would repurchase, but again, it's not a waterproof. And if my eyes get watery, this one transfers like crazy. Now I know that like the Armani and the YSL, those aren't waterproof either, but they don't transfer quite as bad whenever my lash or whenever my eyes start to water, I can kind of pat it away and gain control immediately. Whereas this one and some of these others, I mean, the minute any little bit hits, they transfer. 
the Tower 28 Making Waves Mascara. This is another one of my favorites. I really, really enjoy this one. I have the shade Drift. It's a brown color. This is the only brown mascara that I have, and I love this. I love this if I'm going for a more subtle look. I don't want anything as dramatic. This is beautiful. It, leng it lengthens, it lifts, it holds the curl. It adds just a tiny bit of volume, but this one is definitely worth the hype. I really, really enjoy this one as well. Um, I'm pretty picky about my mascaras and I feel like I have a good handful that I really enjoy, but yeah, I like this one. I would highly recommend it. Definitely repurchase it in either color. Okay, I'm gonna flip back over to here because I have, these are brow products, which I have a lot more brow products than I realized that I have, but let's go ahead and start. So I have the Tarte DIY Brow. I bought this because I believe it was Kelly Strack talked about how amazing and beautiful this is. And this is a nice product, but I think I got it too light because this is medium brown and it doesn't really do anything for my brows because they are so light and it's a little bit more on like the warm tone. But this is a really cool product. It's just not my favorite. But again, I think it may be more color than anything. Um, let's stick to that trend. I have... I know it's in here. Here it is. The NYX La Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. This one is really nice. When it comes to brow pens, this one is really nice. I just don't use them that often because I don't find them the easiest to work with. I find them to be a little on the temperamental side. The NYX is definitely easier than the Tarte DIY Brow, but I prefer to just go in with a pencil, draw them on that way, but I do have two of them and they're okay. They're just, they're not my favorites. Um, brow pencils. Let's do those really quick. I have three right here. Um, I love all three of these. All three of these are fantastic. I have really fallen in love with the Dominique Cosmetics Brow Frame. I think this is such a cool brow product. I absolutely love it. I've been using it nonstop and I don't wanna put it down. I would 100% repurchase this over and over. The Kosas Brow Pop. This one's really nice too. This was like the one that I was using constantly before I picked up this one. And I really love this one as well. It has more of like that thick kind of end. Not as thick as the one from ABH or even this one right here. Like let me show you in comparison so it's not quite as thick of a tip but it is really nice i like the way that it looks on my brows i like the way that it goes on it's smooth it's very natural looking and i really do enjoy it and then lastly i have this one from one size i just use this in my shop my stash video this is the one that was like my go-to before i had my brows done because it's so super fine and i can really get in there with light hair strokes, but now that I have my brows done, I'm not looking to draw them on like I was before. This is still a fantastic pencil. I do really enjoy this. It's a little too dark for my brows. I have lightened up my hair slightly over the years. I'm not as dark as I used to be, but um, this is a really nice one as well. I love all three of these. I recommend all three of these for different reasons. Okay, brow gels, pomades, things like that. My NYX Thicket Stick It, this is my favorite. I absolutely love it, hands down. It's affordable, it's fantastic, it has a hold, it doesn't leave a crunch. It's a beautiful, beautiful product and it's got a color to it. The Urban Decay, Urban Decay Big Bush Brow, this is another one, one I hate the name, absolutely loathe it, I think it's gross. But this one is in Brunette Betty and I love this one as well. I've been using this one quite a bit. On my channel, outside my channel, all the things. <clears throat> this one is a good one as well, but I would absolutely 100% repurchase the NYX over this one just because it's cheaper. Like, they're both really good. They both work really well, but this one's more affordable, and brow products just don't excite me as much as other things. So... If you want to skip ahead of this, go ahead. The NYX Brow Glue, this is not a favorite of mine. This is like very goopy, very sticky. Um, it works if you've got like bushier brows that you really need to hold in place. I don't have a lot. Yes, my hairs get a little bit squirrely, but I don't need anything with this much hold to it. So it's just a little too much for me. 
the ABH Clear Brow Gel. This is nice. It's not my favorite. Um, it doesn't have the best hold to it. You can absolutely build it up to that, but if you start to build it up, it's just over the top. It's too much. It's like, like paste in your eyebrows, but and it's clear, so I tend to go for a more colored brow gel, which I already stated, but it's not a bad one. It's just not my favorite. I think they've reformulated it, maybe come out with some colors. Maybe I'll try that eventually, see how that works. Um, the Sephora Mascara, or I'm sorry, the Sephora, Sephora Brow Volumizing Fiber Mascara. I forgot I had this, but this one is really good too. This is a fantastic product. I need to bust this back out and use it because this one's a good one. This one actually does add a little bit of fibers to it. So I used to use this one in conjunction with this pencil right here to fill in my brows and make it look like I actually had brows. But um, yeah, this is a good one. I really do remember enjoying this. I need to bust it out and use it again. So I will probably set that aside. The e.l.f. Wow Brow. Um, this was nice, but this is extremely warm tone. Like, can you see how warm tone that is? It's just, it's too much for my brows, so I don't really use it, but who knows? Maybe if I become a redhead, I might need to use it, but it is really nice. It did hold my brows in place. Again, for me, this is just a color issue, which is why I don't use it or bust it out. And then last but not least is the Fluff Up Brow Wax from Benefit. And honestly, I don't remember how I felt about this. I got this for free from Influencer, I think right about the time that this came out. And I don't remember how I feel about it. I need to put this aside too and use it. See what I think. Because I don't remember, which means it probably wasn't very good if I don't remember. But I'm going to put this aside as well and figure out what I think. Okay, let's move on to this little guy right here. So this has liners in it. I do have my other liners that I will show you in a minute that I keep right here in this little guy. This is always sitting on my desk in front of me, but this is like specialty liners. So this is like gel liners, colored liquid liners, glitter liners, cake liners, things like that. Um, these are Victoria Beckham sharpeners that don't belong in here, but let's go ahead and start with this right here. Okay, so let's start with these two from Unearthly. I got these in the Valentine's Day mystery box, and I'm not a big fan of the brush tip liners. I just, I'm just now getting used to actually using liquid eyeliner, and this is just, this is one of those I really need to kind of sit, play around, figure out how to use them, because everybody loves this formula. I've heard that a felt tip or a brush tip liner is like the way to go, but we're getting there, baby steps. These colors are beautiful. I have them in my collection. I have played with them. I just, like I said, there's a learning curve to it and I need to figure it out. I have these two from Half Magic. These are, what are they called? They're glitter pills. And I have the shade Oh, I can't read it. I cannot read it. But anyways, I have this one and I have this one. I just, my eyes do not want to read that. I think this one is Money Please. And I think this one is Microsome, Microsome. I don't know. These are really pretty. I like these. If I want to add just a little bit of sparkle to my lid, I feel like these are manageable. Like they do have that brush tip, but they don't come out quite like as heavy and as quick. And so I have a little bit more control over them. They are really pretty. Um, I don't think that these are as good as the ones that Urban Decay has. They're glitter liners. I don't have any more of those. They've dried up and I've gotten rid of them. But those are really nice. And I was kind of hoping that these were along that same line. But they're just, they're just not as good, I don't think. These are nice, but they're, yeah, they're not nearly as good. Go for the Urban Decay ones if you want a glitter liner. But... These aren't, they're not horrible. They're just not my favorite. The Melt Gel Liners. I have four of them. So I have the OG in Onyx. And this is what this one looks like. Um, so this is what the pot looks like. And then, of course, it's just, it's black. This 
is such a good black eyeshadow base. Like if you want to put on a black and then put on a shimmer over it to make it really pop and kind of shift it, this is perfect. It's beautiful. I really, really enjoy these. Um, this is my second one, so it's not quite as used. My other one dried up, but I love it. I repurchased this with the Bailey Sarian collection, but this is fantastic. I love it. So good. And it does not come off very easily. But okay, this one is also from the Bailey Sarian collection. This is the shade Nightshade. And this is really cool. This one's actually like creamier than the black one. But look at that shade. It's like, you can't even see that on camera. It looks black. But it is like a deep, deep, deep navy blue. I've only used this as a liner. I have not used it as a base. I haven't used these as a base either. But this is beautiful. When the light hits it, you can just see that little bit of a blue. It has a little bit more of like a satin finish to it. But I like it. I think Melt has the best gel liner formula ever. Okay, these two are from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. This is all I picked up from that collection because I am not a fan of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, I don't like the movie. I'm not a fan of it, but I wanted these colors because they're beautiful. So let's start with this one, which is called Terrible Vision. And this one is like an orange shade. Put it right here, but look at... Oh, that's like the most beautiful burnt orange. Like this one, you could put on your lid, fluff it out with a brush, put a shimmer on over it, call it a day. Gorgeous. Use it as a liner. I love this shade. And then there's this one. This one is called Master of Fright. And this one is more of like a metallic finish to it. Mine came a little melted because of the Texas heat, even in October. <laughs> but like, look at how cool that is. Like, oh, I love it so much. These are really cool. I know they have other shades and I would love to have them. I just kind of slowly pick up a couple here and there as they come out, different collections, things like that. But this one is one of my favorites for sure. Like if I had to keep two, it would be course the classic onyx and then master of fright love this formula absolutely beautiful okay then i have this from gavisi um i forgot that i had this like don't judge me i need to play with it um this is their cake liners and i got this little like build your own pan. I did this. I think it was like a Black Friday thing and I've played with it. I've played with this green shade and I think I played with the dark blue. I haven't played with the purples yet, but these are fun. These are really neat. This is something that I really want to pull out for one of my shop, my stashes, play with, kind of get creative. I'm not very creative when it comes to liner. I'm just kind of like, let's get it on and move on. But I really want to try doing some more artsy maybe not completely graphic but like some more artsy liners more colorful liners on my lid so yeah i need to pull these out and use them but these two shades the dark green and the dark blue the ones that i've used they are really pretty i like it um if you've never used a cake liner before you just put a little bit of water in it swirl it around and use it as a liner but you need to make sure that your consistency is perfect because if you add too much water it's going to be too watery and just slide off your lid if you don't add enough it's going to be very stiff not very creamy and not go on very well but I do really enjoy these these are the only cake liners I've ever used so I don't have a comparison to anything else but the two shades in here that I have used I do really like okay these are my eyeliners so I have a pretty good array of colors um these over here are liquid. The rest of these are pencils. Let's just kind of jump into this. I'm going to see if I can go by brand, kind of pick them out. But let's start with the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal liners. These are my absolute favorites. I want more colors. They actually just came out with a new color that I think is stunning. But cinnamon is my absolute favorite. I use this one a lot. I prefer a brown liner to a black liner. So yeah, but this is cinnamon. 
it's just a really pretty beautiful soft brown i love this formula i know i've said it before but it's just it's so creamy it goes on beautifully it stays really nicely in the water line i don't have an issue with it with my watery eyes this is the shade bronze so it's you know just a cooler tone bronze shade but I don't have any issues with these. I do really, really enjoy them. For me, they are well worth the splurge. And then this one is Gold Lame. And this one is really pretty. It's just a beautiful, sparkly gold. Now they do tell you not to put this in your waterline. I do, I haven't had any issues, but just be warned, you do you, whatever you think is, you know, use your own judgment. But yeah, I love these. I definitely need to pick up more shades. Um, let's pop to House Labs. This is another formula that I really love. I have two of these. So I have Chartreuse Matte and Sienna Matte. And these, nope, wrong end. They come with a little brush. Actually, the Victoria Beckham ones come with a smudger. But these come with a brush. This is Chartreuse Matte. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that lime green shade. These are also another, actually all of these work really well in my waterline. Let me just say that now. I don't have an issue with any of these wearing off or anything like that. All of these formulas work beautifully. And then we have Sienna Matte. I do that every time we have sienna matte and this one is just a gorgeous like burnt orange like terracotta shade love it so much you belong down here um let's do let's do odin's eye i have three from odin's eye these are still available so this is shade 006 now these are not my favorite formula, they are a nice formula, but they can be a little bit finicky. Not the easiest to put on, but they are really nice. This one is 007. And then I also have 008. So really pretty pastel purple, pastel blue, and like a pukey green. Um, here we go. Martine Cosmetics. I have two from Martine Cosmetics. I really enjoy these. These are, um, this one's from the Mayday collection and this one was from, I can't remember, but this one is orange and it's such a pretty orange. Like it is bright. It's beautiful. It's creamy. Love it. And then this one is anthracite and it is a gray shade so I like to use this one over a black it's a little bit softer in the waterline but it still has that deep shade to it but these are really good I enjoy these um, let's do give I have two from give and I really enjoy these as well I have greener pastures and bath water so let's do oh, we're rolling away back here let's put you here Okay, so we've got greener pastures. Of course, it would chip off about the time I'm talking about it. But we have greener pastures. These are super creamy. Like, these are so creamy. They have a little bit of, like, a satin finish to them. They're not matte. This one's a little bit sparkly. This is bath water. But I just, I really, really love these. I think they're beautiful. It's another one of those formulas that I would love to have more of. Um, I have one from Melt. This is the Slick Waterline and this is in the shade Ivory. This is kind of a go-to whenever I want to have a light waterline. Um, I really enjoy this one. I think it's beautiful. I have another one that's similar to the color, but I honestly like this formula better. From Sephora, I have one of the 12-hour colorful crayon whatever contour eye pencils or whatever this is in the shade berry sweet and I thought this was going to be more pinky than it is but just based off of the end but it's definitely a little bit more on that movie berry side but it's still very pretty um my go-to black eyeliner is this one from Kylie Cosmetics it does hold up really nice um it's not like 
a favorite but it's it's a black eyeliner like I don't use a whole lot of black eyeliners I think I have two in here as far as like a pencil goes and this is the one that I go for it is nice um yeah it's it's fine it's good the other black one that I have is this one from makeup forever this is the aqua resist color pencil I got this one as like one of the rewards bizarre items from Sephora and silly me didn't realize that you weren't supposed to sharpen it and I sharpened it so ignore that but it's just another black um yeah it's to me the Kylie is darker than this one I you can't tell on camera but in person you can this one does hold up better but the Kylie is just a little bit deeper as far as a black goes Okay, let's do, I have one from Glossier, and this is a good formula. This is the one, this is my white eyeliner. I don't do white a lot just because I don't like the way that it looks on me all the time. I try, but I prefer a more skin tone shade over white, but this is a nice one. I do like the formula of it. I would like to get maybe a black in this formula, but yeah, I have it in white. Um, this one from e.l.f. This one I picked up for my e.l.f. video and it's nice. It's not bad, but look at how freaking tiny that stupid tip is. Like, it's really hard to use and it breaks off real, see, it just breaks off really, really easy. It's just not, it's not user friendly. Like, it holds up. It is a beautiful color, but I've noticed if I want to do my waterline, I have to go out like that and then go in on the side. So, not a favorite. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're like in a pinch, balling on a budget because it is very cheap. But yeah, I've probably broken off more than I've used. Um, I have this one from Sugar Drizzle. This is one of the um, multi chrome liners. This one is in Hello Babe. And these are really pretty, but again, they are very fragile and not the creamiest one in the world. So it's not super easy to work with, but um, it is pretty. It does have a shift to it, but it's just not my favorite. That's why I only have one. But a good, if you want a good multi-chrome liner, let's talk about ColourPop real quick. So... These with the little designs on them are the multi-chrome ones. I have four of them. Yes, let's see if I can still read these. So this one is Power Trip. Where can I go? This one is Power Trip. You're not gonna be able to see that flip on camera, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I have, which one is this? Wild Idea. I think I'm missing three of them. That's Wild Idea. And then I have this one, which is Pixie. Right there. And then the last of the multi chromes that I have is this is the one that I can't read. And I think it's Acting Up, I think is the name. One day I won't be able to read it, but I absolutely love these it's a beautiful formula they are very shifty in person like i'm seeing a different color than what you're seeing on camera they're affordable these are like nine dollars i think i think they're a dollar more than their regular liners but they're beautiful i love the formula and they're affordable so if you want a multi-chrome liner go with color pop and then i have two others from color pop as well um this one is honey dude i don't think they make either of these these are like their old formula but here's this one this one is just a little bit like more yellow toned than the melt one and it's not quite as creamy so i prefer the melt over this one but i do have it i enjoy it i will use it and then i also have two can do it which is my gold eyeliner and that is what that one looks like I'm pretty sure they still make this just in a different name. This was from a collection and I can't remember which one. Okay, from NYX, I have three of the NYX Epic Wear liners. I use these all the time as well. This one is Pink Spirit. And then I have Turquoise Storm. I think it's called Turquoise Storm, is that right? Yes, turquoise storm and then this one is the one I can never remember fierce purple 
these are so good like I really enjoy this formula honestly if I had to pick I would just go with the NYX or the ColourPop. I really would. As much as I love these other ones, it just it makes more sense to go for a more affordable brand as far as liners go. But, you know, it is what it is. I like what I like. And these don't come in every single color that I want. I have this one from Il Maquillage. This was another one that was free. This is Oreo. And for the longest time, y'all, you're going to laugh. I thought this was black. And it's not, it's just a really, really, really deep, deep brown, like super deep brown. And yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I use this, well, I want to say I use this as a good deep brown, but for the longest time I was using it as what I thought was a black eyeliner, but it is beautiful. I like the formula. It is a good one. This one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Walk of No Shame eyeliner, and I really like this. I hate that I like this because these are not cheap, but that color is just so beautiful. It's like almost the same color as Cinnamon from Victoria Beckham, but like a matte color. It's absolutely beautiful. I do really, really like that shade. I have this one from Lancome. This is the waterproof liner. They had a liner that I loved. It was a pencil liner and that thing was like this long and I absolutely loved it and they discontinued it. Lancome loves to discontinue things, but this is their brown liner. It is really nice. I enjoy it. It's waterproof. Like I said, all of these work in my waterline really nicely, but this is another nice formula and it has a smudger on the end, but I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan of like the twist up pencils of lip liners or eyeliners or anything. I like ones that I can sharpen, which is why I tend to gravitate more towards pencils. Okay, we're down to liquid liners. So I have these right here. First, I have my Urban Decay 24-7 inks in zero. I do really enjoy this one. It's a like brush tip and mine's starting to dry out just a little bit, but it is a beautiful formula. It's very comfortable. I like the little handle on here. This is a good one. Um, the Glam Light Calligrapher Liner, y'all. If you've been here, you know this is an absolute favorite. Like it is so, so black. I would 100% purchase this over this any day. But if you're looking for accessibility, this one's really good. But I love the Glam Light one. Oh, the magic, the half magic, magic flick liquid eyeliner. I'm still testing this one out. It's a very interesting tip, but I'm liking it. I'm learning how to use it and I am really enjoying it. But if you ever see me with like a thicker liquid eyeliner, it's probably this because I'm testing it out, figuring it out. Come on, focus for me. But it is very black. It's black like the, um, the glam light one. And like I said, it's got a learning curve to it. Once you figure it out, it's a beautiful liner and just make sure that you store it like that. That way it doesn't dry out. This one from e.l.f. I don't like at all. It will be decluttered at the end of the year. It's the H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen and I did not like this. It tugs. It does not go on very smooth on my eyes. I don't have like, I mean, I'm only 38 years old, almost 39. I don't have a whole lot of texture on my lids, but I do have some and this just, I, yeah, I did not like this at all. And then I found this one in my drawer. This one is from Sigma that they sent me. It's the liquid pen eyeliner. I'm going to put this in with my new makeup so that I can try it after I'm done testing this one out. So I don't know anything about this one. That's where I'm going to put it. All right, so that is going to complete my miscellaneous eye collection portion of my makeup. So this is everything having to do with the eyes that is not an eyeshadow palette. But let me know all of your thoughts, comments, everything down below in the comment section and as usual I want to thank you so much for watching my video and spending your time with me it really does mean a lot to me and if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel I do post quite a few videos every week most days if not every single day and I wouldn't want you to miss one but until my next video have a good one bye